Uh, I mean, we probably will have a little difference in the view from Korea. Please. Thank you, Doc. The intensifying and expanding tension between the U.S. and China is a very serious issue to all of the world, but much more serious to Korea because of history and geography. As you know, the China is our immediate neighbor. And the military alliance with the United States is a backbone of Korea's foreign policy. But more than 30% uh, of Korea's total export go to China and Hong Kong. And Korea is the largest source of China's import. In addition, the United States and China are two indispensable partners for Korea to manage the threat from North Korea, yeah. maintaining peace and stability in the Korean Peninsula. <laughs> the international political order the Korea want to pursue is non-exclusive. And we highly value cooperation with every country of the world, including China. Therefore, it would be difficult for Korea to join initiative explicitly targeting in China, though, though Korea shares the concerns of the United States of China's economic outreach and its foreign policy. Um, I would like to add one more thing about the Korean companies. Korean companies are global players. And we must note that Korean companies make their investment and business decisions rather independently from the policy of the Korean government. This means even if Korean, follows, Korean government follows the U.S. strategic trend as an ally of the United States, business decision may differ as long as they do not violate relevant laws and regulations. And actually, Korean companies are actively pursuing supply chain diversification, recognizing the importance, more importance of political risk rather than efficiency or cost nowadays. Um, I'd like to add one more thing about uh, Korea's uh, specific concern on the expanding, expanding the China-U.S. conflict. The consequence of China-U.S. conflict leads to the increasing subsidy of the United States, European Union, and Japan. It's a very serious concern to Korea. Uh, those countries are increasing subsidies, especially in the field of you know, the electric vehicle batteries and semiconductors. The reason is to correspond to the state capital of, of China. However, it is distorting international trade order, definitely. So we now currently, WTO dispute settlement mechanism is uh, totally paralyzed, mm -hmm. and we have no means of addressing those distorting international trade practices. So it's a very serious concern. And for Korean companies, in order to respond to increasing subsidies provided by the United States through Inflation Reduction Act and Infrastructure and Jobs Act, they are increasing their investment in the United States. And <coughs> Korean businessmen are fully aware that U.S.-China conflict is a long way to go and is a constant factor for their decision-making. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much.